A San Diego police dog is recovering at home after being stabbed twice in the chest. I'm Carlo Chiquetto. I'm Jesse Pagan in for Marcella Lee. News 8's David Gofferton is following this story for us tonight. He talked to the officer who was handling the canine when the stabbing happened. He's doing well. Aside from some hair missing on his chest and his side and a couple stitches, you, you wouldn't even be able to tell. He's, he's doing well. A San Diego police canine named Hondo is recovering from two stab wounds after taking down a suspect allegedly armed with a knife on Friday morning in the Midway area. Uh, luckily, the angle at which the, the knife punctured uh, mostly got muscle. Mostly it didn't uh, hit anything um, uh, major, nothing vital. Police say 35-year-old Dedrick Jones resisted arrest, jumped on a vehicle, and came towards officers while armed with the knife when the dog's handler, Officer Mitch Tawney, released the canine. Pondo did exactly what he was trained to do. Uh, he went on the bite, he bit and held Mr. Jones. Uh, it, he was not deterred uh, in the least bit while Mr. Jones stabbed him, attempt to stab at him multiple times. In January, Jones was sentenced to a year in jail after stabbing a different SDPD canine named Titan and nearly killing him. I was not uh, aware at the time that this was the same suspect. Uh, I learned that after the fact, after he was identified. But Hondo was lucky and Titan was lucky as well. The two-year-old Belgian Malinois has lived with Officer Tawny for the past year. The dogs are not uh, mean dogs by any means. They don't want to just indiscriminately bite people. Officers say they also shot Jones with a beanbag round before they were able to get the knife away from him. Do you think Hondo knew that he was stabbed? You know, I, I'm not sure at that point. I mean, uh, much like humans, their adrenaline goes through the roof. Um, you know, he may have realized that uh, that Jones was trying to do something to him, but he was uh, so ready to work, so eager to work for me, uh, that he wasn't going to be deterred. No matter what was going to happen to him and his personal safety, he was going to make sure and do the job that I was asking him to do. Hondo will be recovering over the holidays. He is expected to be back on the job in a couple of weeks. Jesse? Now, David, we know Jones will be arraigned tomorrow in court. What kind of charges is he facing right now? Felony charges. Assault with a deadly weapon, resisting arrest, assault on a police dog. The district attorney will file the formal charges tomorrow in court. All right, David Gofferson following this case for us tonight. David, thank you.